Okay, so two-step problems is a continuation from the one-step problems that we were doing before. Before, we were working where you either used Avogadro's number or molar mass. You never use them at the same time. Okay, but so that we all have them, let's go ahead and write Avogadro's number at the top of our worksheet. It's 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles, atoms, molecules, or formula units. Anytime you see any of these four words, okay, that means you will need to use Avogadro's number. We also know that molar mass is equal to grams per mole. We know that those are our units, okay? And that Avogadro's number is equal to one mole. Okay, these are the units, these are the conversion factors that we'll need to use to answer all these questions. Okay, so let's start with problem number one. Problem number one says how many particles are in 3.5 grams of sodium hydroxide, NaOH? So, we need to look for what is given to us in the problem and what we're trying to find. So we notice that here it says 3.5 grams of sodium hydroxide. That is a number that they have given us in the problem. So we're going to label it as given. And when we look at the problem, we see right here that it says how many. How many is our keyword that what's about to come is what we're looking for. So when we ask ourselves what are we trying to find, we're trying to find how many particles. So particles is what we're looking for. We're trying to find particles. And because I see particles in what I'm trying to find and grams in what I'm given, I know that I'm going to need to use molar mass and Avogadro's number. I'm going to have to use both of them, which is why this is called a two-step problem. I'll use two conversion factors. So we always start off our T-charts with, with what's given. So we have 3.5 grams of sodium hydroxide. So we'll start off our T-chart with that. And I know that if I have grams of sodium hydroxide in the top of my T-chart, I will also need to put grams of sodium hydroxide in the bottom of my next conversion factor. So I'll have Na, grams of NaOH at the bottom. And so what I do is I know what half of my conversion factor looks like. I know that the bottom half has grams of sodium hydroxide in it. So if I look at my two conversion factors, I need to find which one has grams. Avogadro's number does not use grams. Molar mass, on the other hand, has grams per mole. So that tells me the first conversion factor I'm going to try to use is molar mass. So when I calculate the molar mass of sodium hydroxide, we get 40.00 grams. If you need help with practicing molar mass, please refer back to the molar mass video. So we get 40 grams of NaOH, and we know that our molar mass is always equal to one mole. So my one mole of NaOH is going to go on the top. And I notice that my grams of NaOH cancel out with grams of NaOH. However, what I have at the top of my t-chart says moles of NaOH. And what I need to do is I need to compare what's at the top to what I'm trying to find. Right here I have moles of NaOH. What we're looking for is particles of NaOH. So that tells me that I'm not done, that I have to do a second conversion factor. So I'm going to set up my next conversion factor. If I have moles of NaOH at the top, right here, I'm going to put moles of NaOH also at the bottom. And now, because I only have two conversion factors, I've already used molar mass which means now I need to use my other one, Avogadro's number. And I know that one mole 
is equal to Avogadro's number. So I'm going to put that at the top. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And I'm going to pick out of the four possible units the ones that I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find particles, so I'm going to use particles in my T chart. I'm going to list it as particles, which I'm going to abbreviate as part. So then my moles of NaOH cancel out with moles of NaOH. All I have left in terms of units is particles. And particles right here matches what I'm trying to find. So I know that I have done as many conversion factors as I need. I'm done. And all I need to do is multiply out my problem. Before putting this in your calculator, please remember that if you have a number that has scientific notation, so something that has times 10 to an exponent, like Avogadro's number, you're going to want to put that number in parentheses in your calculator so that the order of operations does not change. We multiply by what is on the top and divide by what's in the bottom. So in our calculator, we would say 3.5 divided by 40 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And when we do this, we get 5.27 times 10 to the 22. And remember that our units are particles of NaOH. So I can box in my answer. Let's continue and work through problem number two, which is very similar to problem number one, but instead of start trying to find particles, we're starting off by them giving us particles. So number two says, if you burned 6.10 times 10 to the 24th particles of ethane, what mass of ethane, C2H6, did you burn? So let's start off by labeling what's given to us. They give us 6.10 times 10 to the 24th particles of ethane. That's given to us. And they ask what mass of ethane. So they're looking for mass, which we know mass refers to grams. The unit for mass is grams. So that is what we're trying to find. So we always start our t-charts off with what's given, 6.10 times 10 to the 24th particles. So we'll put that at the front of our t-chart. Because I have particles in my t-chart in what's given to me right here, that tells me I'm going to need particles down at the bottom. So particles will be the bottom of my next conversion factor. So I look at my two conversion factors, molar mass and Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number is the only one that has the unit's particles in it. So that means I will put Avogadro's number down beside particles, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And we know it's equal to one mole. One mole is not what they're looking for. They're looking for grams, which means that I need to use a second conversion factor. So in my next conversion factor, I'm going to use molar mass. I'm going to have moles on the bottom and grams on the top. Okay, so I know that one mole of ethane is equal to its molar mass. So we have the compound is C2H6. So we have two carbons and six hydrogens, which will give us a molar mass of 30.08 grams. And I can check my work and say particles cancel out with particles, moles cancel out with moles. All I have left is grams, which is what I was looking for. So I can calculate everything out. I'll put 6.10 times 10 to the 24th divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd times 
30.08, and I will get 304.80 grams as my answer. Okay. Um, I have noticed I forgot to put C2H6 with all of these, but they are all referring to the same compound. At no point during this conversion factor did I switch to a different compound. I have always been talking about ethane. Also remember to put any number that has scientific notation into parentheses before putting it in your calculator. If you have any other questions about this video or the problems on this worksheet, you will need to see me before or after school.